Hello guys, welcome back to CEBAX tutorial channel and this is our example number 2 for chapter 1, Live Loads of Structural Theory 1. A four-story office building has interior columns spaced 30 feet apart in two perpendicular directions. If the flat roof live loading is estimated to be 30 pounds per feet squared, determine the reduced live load supported by a typical interior column located at the ground level. Ayan. So, um, ipakita natin sa elevation kung paano nga ba yung loading sa to and kung paano yung four-story office building na ito. So, let's say this is our column. Tapos, sabi niya, ano eh, 30 feet apart. Tapos, meron doon tayong interior column. Copy natin yan. Ito yung para sa interior column natin. Then, ito na naman yung ating exterior column. Then, ilagay natin ito para sa ating, ano, mm, magkasama na siguro, yung beam and slab. Ito yung uh, roof. This is our third floor. This is our second floor. Ah, wait lang. Pulang ata, no? Fourth pala, no? Sorry. Fourth story siya. So, fourth, third, then, second, pulang para sa ating, ano, no? Ating third floor. Ah, sorry. Para sa ground floor. Diba ba natin to? Ayan. Oops. Masama yun. Sige, lahat. So, ito yung para sa ating second floor. Tapos, ito naman yung ating ground floor. Kasi ang kahalagahan rito sa ating live loadings is may imagine natin kung paano yung building. So, lagay ng label. So, this is our ground floor. Second floor. Third floor. Then, fourth floor. Tapos, ito yung ating Proof din. Pero karaniwan kapag Chinese yung inyong ano, client sa pagpapagawa ng building, alam namin is wala silang sinasamang third floor. Malas ata yun sa, ano, sa superstitions ng mga Chinese. Kasi meron kaming third story building nun, wala kaming third floor. So, kung tapos ng second floor, fourth floor na kagad yung term na ginagamit namin. But anyway, ayan, negative siya para mapatunay lang na meron tayong ano, four story building. Then sabi niya, Yung ating daw ano, second floor or yes, from ground floor to fourth floor, lahat yan office building. Or yung occupancy or type of occupancy niya is for office. So, kunin natin yung ating live load para sa office. Kunin yung ating l not So, under office and then English units yung ating ano ginagamit so PSF so 50 PSF or 50 pounds per feet squared and then ang pinapakuha sa atin is yung reduced live load na meron or dadalhin yung ating interior column sa ground floor itong column na ta interior volume at ground floor level. Tapos, dun daw sa ating flat roof, yung live loading daw dyan is equivalent sa 30 pounds per feet squared. Yung dinadala dito na loadings. So, this is 30 pounds per feet squared. So, ang kailangan natin i-reduce dyan is yung 50 pounds per feet squared. So, check natin according to sa ating, ano, sa ating code. Ay, ito. Ayan. So, kapag greater than yung ating influence area sa 400 feet squared, ibig sabihin, i-reduce natin yung ating live load. Or kaya, Pa ba? Meron pa rito eh. 
yung 4.729 something ito to ayan no reduction is allowed for loads exceeding 4.79 kN per meter squared Kunin natin yung ating tributary area So di ba tig to 30 feet to no So 30 feet 30 feet So kung kukunin natin yung kanilang tributary area tig kalahati lang Yan. Tikalahate. So, this is 15 feet and 15 feet. So, ibig sabihin, 15 feet dito sa direction na to, then dito sa kanyang perpendicular or transverse direction, also 15 plus 15. So, 30 by 30 feet. Ah, yes. If we say two perpendicular direction to, ito yung ating X and Y plane. So, this is our Y, this is our X. Perpendicular sila sa isa't isa. So, 30 feet dito sa Y, 30 feet dito sa ating X axis. So, yun yung tinutukoy na two perpendicular direction dyan. Or kaya kapag ginawa natin top view to, sige, pakita na rin natin. Ang top view nito is ganito. Exterior. Then, Interior. Interior. Tapos, take 30 feet. Ayan. Ah, yes. Uh, I mean, pinak ito talaga, ito, itong mga to, pati ito, to, yun yung mga exterior column. Ang pinaka-interior column pala is ito. Ayan. Yung pinakagitna. Ayan yung pupunan natin ng reduced live load. Then, ito yung tributary area natin. Nadrenaw natin kanina dun sa elevation. So, nakaharap tayo rito kanina. Ayan. Dito. So, ito yung 15 feet and 15 feet. Tapos, ito naman yung sa kanyang transverse direction. 15 feet. 15 feet. And this is our tributary area, 80. Now, the tributary area is 30 feet by 30 feet. So, this is equivalent to 900 okay, feet squared. And then, ang ating KLL, since this is interior, so 4.0. So, therefore, ang ating KLL Multiplied by 80 or yung ating influence. So this is our influence area. So, 900 multiplied by 4. So, this is 36. Feet squared. So, since ang ating influence area is greater than sa 400 feet squared, therefore, we must reduce L0. At yung ating reduced live load is under FPS unit or English unit. Ito, 0.25 plus 15. So, L is equivalent to L naught multiplied by 0.25 plus 15 over square root of AI. So, ang ating reduced live load is L naught na 50 multiplied by 0.25 plus 15 over AI, which is 3.6. So, 25 feet, or sorry, 25 pounds per feet squared. Ito na yung ating design or reduce live load. Ang tanong, ano yung total load na dadalihin ng ating interior column at ground floor level? So, LT. LT is equivalent to 25 pounds per feet squared multiplied by or tanggal natin unit 25 multiplied by how many levels? 1 2 and then 3 so siguro lagay yung ano drawing dito ito yung loadings natin para sa ating interior columns and yung drawing ng loadings nya and 
And then ito. Hindi, syempre, dito yung sasama yung ano, sa ground floor kasi hindi naman na siya kasaluhin ng interior column natin dito, di ba? Ang talo na doon sa loading sa ground floor kasi is usually yung ating grade beam or mga biga sa grade level or ground floor level. Then, so this is what? 25 multiplied by 3 levels. Then plus, yung sa ating roof beam level or sa flat roof live load. So this is 30 feet squared. So this is equivalent to, yes, hindi na kailangan pang i-reduce yung ano ha, 30 pounds per feet squared. Kasi even though ang nakalagay sa kanya is flat roof live load, hindi tinutukoy ko sa inyo na ano, uh, loadings dun sa ating roof, uh, roof beam level or sa roofing. Hindi siya kasama dito eh. Na? Hindi siya kasama sa minimum live load. So, ang tawag ito is roof live load. Or dun sa mga code natin, ang label dito is LLR eh. Yan, live load roof or roof live load. So, hindi siya kailangan pang i-reduce. Kailangan, ang i-reduce natin talaga is yung mga itong mga to, yung minimum live loss, or sa different types of occupancy. Pero, kung sakali man na yung ating roof live load is gagamitin for some use or some purposes like siguro assembly, ayan, or uh, storage, yan, pwede. Pwede natin i-reduce yung live load. Depende kung ano yung condition niya under sa kanyang influence area. So, ang total nito is 25 multiplied by 3 plus 30. So, 105 pounds per feet squared. Ito yung total load na dadalihin ng ating interior column at ground level. So, kung kung gusto natin naman na ano na hindi na distributed load, alam, kung gusto natin kunin talaga is yung mismong uh, magnitude ng ating load dito sa ground floor. So, let's say letter P na lang. Ito. Ayan. So, ang ating P ngayon is equivalent sa 105, then multiply natin sa area. So, ang area natin dyan is 30, or yung tributary area natin. This is 900 feet squared. So, ang P natin is 105 times 900. Okay, so this is 94,500. And this is, syempre, ang ka-cancel yung feet squared natin. So, this is 94,500 pounds. Or, kung gusto natin naman na in terms of keeps, I-divide lang natin yung ating 94,500 ng 1,000 para maging kips. So, 94.5 kips. So, kahit ano sa dalawa dyan, pwede nyo gamitin. Depende kung ano yung pinaparequire ng inyong peso. Okay. So, yan. Ganyan lang kasimple yung pag-solve ng ating reduce live load kapag marami ng level yung kasama sa ating problem. So, Lagi nyo, huwag nyo nakakalimutan yung, ano, itong table 1.4 na ito na pre-novide ni R.C. Hebler, yung minimum live loss. But, if yung mga professor naman ninyo is ang pinapagamit ay galing sa NCP 2015, so, ibig sabihin, kailangan nyo i-print yung mga pages na yun. Kasi marami-marami yun, <laughs> di ba? Baka gusto niya, or gusto ng professor ninyo, is talagang masanay kayo or ma maging familiar sa different types of loadings na included sa NCP 2015, okay lang din. Mas maganda actually. Pero ito, for the purpose lang naman na alam ninyo kung paano tayo mag and kung paano yung distribution natin according to sa different levels ng ating building. Okay, so this is our example number 2 for chapter 1, Live Loss of Structural Theory 1. So if you enjoyed and learned from this video tutorial, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for notifications and updates on our YouTube channel. So thank you for watching. Bye-bye everyone. God bless.